fans and fellow Schleich enthusiasts, Moonfox Model signing in again with another unboxing video. And I know it's been a while, so I thought we'd go big. So big in fact that this box barely fit in my light box. But I think we'll make do. This is the new Schleich Horse Club 2022 stable. This is a brand new design and I'm so excited to take a closer look. You already saw the front of the box. This is the back. It shows a list of contents to the left, some pictures featuring this playset, and also some promotional pictures for some other horse club playsets. Since this is such a big playset, I'm gonna go ahead and open it and put everything together off camera. And when I'm done with that, I'll be back to show you around the brand new stable. Wow, that took a minute, but I love how modern this looks. The instructions included were very clear and easy to follow, but there's a lot of little parts to keep track of. Just a heads up. The flower boxes are removable, if you don't want them. And underneath we have these hitching posts where you can tie up your horses. And of course both the front doors and the door to the loft opens. Here we have the interior of the stable. It has three stalls and one tack up area. It also has a loft up here. It was very bright up here with a hatch. Now, what's really unique about this stable is that it has two removable sections. You can remove or switch places on the tack-up area and one of the stalls. You can also add on to your stable if you have more of these sections, which I think is super cool. Also, one of my favorite features of this stable is that it comes with straw. It has a sheet of straw that you just pop into the floor. And I think that adds to the realism of the stable. Since my light box is too small to show you the side of the stable with the fence panels attached, I decided to take the two loose sections and just push them together. And as you can see that works just fine. So on this side we have the tack up area and here we have the extra stall. And as you can see here I didn't get the bottom part of the door. In fact I got two top pieces rather than one top and one bottom. But it is supposed to come with a complete door for all the stalls and the checkup area. We get six of these long fence panels and three of these short fence panels. And that's enough to make these little paddocks for all three stalls. But as you can see here, you can also use them for the tack-up area. And if you're wondering if they are compatible with the old Schleich fence panels, the answer is yes, they do work together. This is a complete playset, so it's no surprise it comes with a ton of accessories. So in order for this video not to take forever, let's dive right in. We get a total of three of these hay feeders, one for each stall. We also get three water cups and three of these saddle hangers. They pop right onto the bars of the stalls. We also get a blue bucket. The handle can move. We get a broom that's very detailed. We also get this pitchfork, and I really appreciate the silver painting on the metal part. 
We also get this saddle hanger. Some light assembly is required. We get this huge ladder to reach the loft. We get a pile of hay or straw with holes for the pitchfork to get into. Like this to make it look like the Schleich people are cleaning up some spilled hay or straw. My pitchfork don't really want to stay in there unless I hold it in place. We get two piles of green apples, two bunches of carrots, which the characters can hold easily in their hands. We get a bag of pig's feed. I love the details of these. And two bales each of straw and hay. And they are hollow. Some light assemblance is required. We get one red full size halter with a red lead rope. And one blue full size halter. The lead ropes are attached to both halters. We also get two fabric saddle pads with printed patterns and details. We get one purple blanket with push button closing and lovely printed details. We get two identical dark brown saddles with lots of nice details. As well as two identical dark brown bridles with also lovely details. But I'm not sure how I feel about Schleich changing the fastening of the reins. For the humans we get two of these identical black helmets. We get two plates and two cups that the characters can hold. We also get a curry comb and a body brush. They are so tiny, they are really hard to show. We get two sewn fabric sleeping bags for the humans with printed details and the elastics at the bottom allow them to roll up and stay rolled up. Matching the sleeping bags, we have two fabric pillows and they are sewn. And they have printed details both on the front and the back. Here we have a closer look at one of the two identical flower pots that hangs from the window at the front of the stable. No barn is complete without a little mouse. Or maybe it's a rat. It's super tiny and super adorable. I'm amazed by the details they have managed to put in it. This adorable little kitten is so cute. The face looks quite good. I love the color and the pose is adorable. Also all the details in the fur are amazing. This is Hannah, one of the horse club characters. She has some articulation at the shoulders, the waist. She can rotate her hips and bend her knees. The hat is removable and she comes with this red bracelet. She has printed details on her clothes and she has amazing details all the way around. This is Lisa, another horse club character with movements at the shoulders, the hips and the knees. She too comes with a bracelet, she has printed details on her clothes and she's amazingly detailed all the way around. Now we've come to the horses and first we have this color variation of the Lusitano Mare Mold. This model also looks a lot like the 2019 exclusive Lusitano Mare. They're practically sisters but there's some variation in color. I really love this mold and this model is gorgeous. I really love how Schleich makes braids. 
I think that looks so neat. She also has the sweetest face. And she has some subtle shading going on. I, I appreciate that. Truly a model worth adding to your collection. Next we have another color variation, this time of the Tennessee Walking Mare. And I must say I love this paint job. This mold has been painted in a number of variations, but I think this is one of the prettiest. This is probably one of my favorites. She does have a brown smudge on her muscle from the factory. It's just a bit of brown paint. I've always liked this pose. And I really like how the mane and tails are sculpted. They look really good. I can't get enough of this color and the shading. She's such a beautiful model. Here we have a color variation of the Tennessee Walker Colt. And he has such a beautiful color. He's a really fiery orangey red. And this blaze or marking, face marking is just perfection on him. He is so cute. I really love chestnuts, so I adore this color. The more fiery, the better. And he is certainly orange, which I think is probably the most attractive thing about this model. But the pose is also really cute, especially how the tail is sculpted. I almost forgot to show you the sticker sheet. We get a lot of decorations to put up and little name plates you can decorate your stables with. I didn't put up the posters because I want them to be removable. So I will probably just put them on uh, some thicker paper, cut them out and put them on with poster putty. Here we see the horses all tucked up with the riders in the saddles and I must admit that I am slightly obsessed with the saddle pads. I think they look so good on the saddle. I think these cutouts are really clever, but just a heads up, they are raw edges and too much stretching and pulling might unravel them or stretch them. Here we have the purple and blue one as well. I think they look so good. Wow guys, I love how this stable looks. I love that this set has everything you need. And I love how open it is. And I feel like Schleich really has listened to their followers and their fans. Because I can imagine this set being great for Schleich videos and Schleich photographs. It will be a great backdrop. Especially since you can arrange it exactly how you want it. Schleich has already released play sets that are compatible with this one so you can expand your stable. And in a year or two we will most likely see these pop up on the second hand market and that will give you an opportunity to expand even more. That was my review of the Schleich 2022 Lakeside Riding Center. Please tell me what you think about this playset down in the comments below. If you want more Schleich unboxing content, please subscribe. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And I'll see you in the next video. Until then, take care and bye.